here's the finished product of what you'll be learning how to create with this free flash source file and instructional video you can get the free source file from developphp.com in the flash section and what it does is it shows you how to dynamically program your checkbox components so you can use the checkbox component dynamically and we programmatically bring it to stage and program it to update a list for us and when we select it and deselect it it adds those items to the list or takes them away so this file will give you a pretty good insight into dynamically programming your checkbox components in flash cs3 and cs4 for action script 3 here we are in flash cs3 let's create new flash action script 3 project and let's leave the size just the way it is that'd be just fine actually let's bring the height up 300 okay now what we're gonna do is bring in some shopping cart graphics really quick scale this down a bit and I'm in fireworks here Okay, that looks good. Control C, back in flash, control V. Brings it in as a movie clip. Let's just plop it right there. Now right on top of that, I'm gonna create a rectangle. And make it its fill have an alpha of about eighty six. bring that alpha down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now all we have to do is drag out a dynamic text field. So let's grab the text tool, set it to dynamic text here. Whatever font that you want and whatever size and all the attributes you can set down here, you know. So I'm just going to drag it out where I'd like it. Right about there. I'm going to make sure it has no border around text. That way we can see through that little opaque rectangle we made and see our cart let's name this layer, let's double click this layer and name it stage elements let's create a new layer above it by clicking this insert layer button and let's name this one AS3 short for action script 3 now we can code it out because we have everything we need now just like in the, l the last lesson I gave we created button component instances dynamically we'll be creating the checkbox instances dynamically now the first line of code is to import the fl.controls.checkbox that way you can access it to create it dynamically now let's see well, let's look what's in our library here just that fireworks object which is basically just this bitmap in this movie clip. So let's bring those out. Let's delete that folder. Okay, it's just our cart there. There's no checkbox in the library. So let's press control enter and see what happens with that line of code. Okay, we get an error. Definition FL controls that checkbox cannot be found. So what we have to do is drag a text uh, checkbox from the components library put it on stage and press control X and delete it now in your library there it is checkbox and component assets that's what you need <coughs> now when you press control enter you won't have any errors see okay now let's start coding this out first thing we're gonna do is 
set that text field that we have on stage cart underscore txt I didn't give it an instance name let's cart underscore txt now it has an instance name we're referring to it in our code now dot text is equal let's put the sentence that we want to display there shopping cart contains colon and make sure it has a line break actually at first it won't even matter if it does or not so that's fine for now and now let's go down two lines create bar this is going to be the first checkbox that we're creating dynamically Let's name it checkbox1. This is going to equal new checkbox. Open close parenthesis on that function. Okay, so let's create the next one. It's going to be very similar checkbox 2 now we can add event listeners for this checkbox and the listener will be click when somebody clicks in it we want to make an action happen or make a function fire off that's what we'll do okay checkbox 1 we can just grab this name here checkbox 1 dot add event listener open close parenthesis put semicolon this is going to be mouse event of click dot click all caps comma and the function that's going to fire off update list now let's add another listener very similarly for the checkbox 2 that we're creating dynamically here see one two now we have event listener for both of those here okay now we're gonna give those a label so we just grab the first one checkbox one dot label is equal to milk put that in between double quotes now similar to the label for checkbox one let's uh, checkbox two will have a label of bread there we go now we're gonna give checkbox one let me just grab the name here give checkbox one an X position that it's going to land on stage when it's dynamically created or where it's going to live on stage 80 and let's make the Y position for that one too right now now it's Y position on stage let's say about 100 we'll, we'll check our numbers and every, everything's not just like we like it, we'll change the numbers up. It's very easy. Okay, so now here, checkbox 2 needs positions. Checkbox 2, X and Y. Let's make this one 120 here, so that way its Y position will be lower than the other one, and that's what we want. So they won't be stacked right on top of each other, but their X position will be 80. So for instance, let's grab a rectangle. Let's put it at the position where those are going to land. X position of 80 and a Y position of 120. That's the second one, 100. Right there. That's a little bit too low. So let's bring that Y position up a little. Let's make this 60. And then this one 80 that should do it 
Now all we have to do is add child. So we say add child, open close parenthesis, semicolon, checkbox 1. And this will effectively put it on stage, this line of code right there. At that moment, that's when it gets added to stage. So we add 1 and 2, both checkboxes that we created dynamically. Now all we need is the function that is waiting to fire off update list. Remember that function that both checkboxes have when they get clicked. They fire off that function. Let's build that now. Okay, so type in function. And we already have the name here, update list. And this is going to be between double quotes and avoid and then our opening curly brace, close curly brace. Now we have a function that's set up all nice. And we have to make sure we give the function the proper event. Let's just say event dot mouse event. It works. Okay, now first thing we're going to do inside of that function each time one of the check boxes is clicked, whether it's putting the checks in the box or taking the checks out of the box, this function will fire off. So let's say cart underscore txt dot text is going to be equal to similar to what it says here. So let's just pop that in. And this one we want to give double line break so we'll put backslash n backslash n that'll put double line break and now we're going to append the text so you put a condition of if check box one dot selected is equal to true if check box one dot selected is equal to equal equal to and you have to put two equal signs for that type of comparison in that situation cart underscore txt now we're going to append the text here if it's true if it's selected so we put dot append text open parenthesis close parenthesis and let's put the semicolon there and here we're going to add the label of the actual checkbox so remember the label milk and bread right there checkbox one dot label we can access that value and let's add a line break to that by claiming blacks back black splash <laughs> backslash and so it'll have a line break that way the words because we're going to put the next one in right here control C it's going to be if checkbox 2 dot selected checkbox 2 label will be put into the text field you use append text. You use the append uh, text function when you want to add to a text field. That way, every time one of the check boxes get clicked, this function will fire off and update what the card says using these three lines here. Okay, let's look everything over real good before we test. That looks great this is going to throw an error it has to be a semicolon there or a full or a colon full colon and uh... i had a period sitting there let's see what else here that's not going to display because it needs to be black or some other darker color let's make it blue Let's also make it multi-line. 
so we show multiple lines in it and uh, let's embed it let's embed uppercase lowercase numerals and punctuation okay that way no matter if the no matter whether or not the user has that font on their system it will display correctly and nicely so non selectable no back no border multi line dynamic text okay so that's how the text setting should be not selectable okay now let's test it out control enter your shopping cart contains milk bread if I click unclick the milk checkbox it removes it from the list and that's how it works and you can add more of these very easily you can just make checkbox 3 make a new label for it give it its X and Y position add child so you can add it to stage and then you add an if condition right here for it for number 3 and you would be done okay so I hope the source file and video example helps you guys code out your dynamic checkboxes We'll see you next lesson.